when I think of the word bold, it doesn't necessarily have a positive meaning. Growing up, being bold most likely meant you were going against authority or you had the audacity to do something disrespectful. In other words, you weren't scary or afraid. But that can't be further from the true definition of the word. Boldness isn't the absence of fear. It's the decision to move forward despite it. It's acknowledging the knots in our stomach, the shaky hands, and still taking that first step towards what you know is yours. I've always categorized myself as a bold person. Well, if the only two options were bold or fearful, that is. I've always been one who is more confident, energetic, outspoken, sometimes super loud, and curious about the world around me. But that would only take me so far. I've realized that boldness is a spectrum and my measure of boldness heavily dependent on my current environment. In my opinion, I've only been semi-bold. I feel myself holding back only doing a more so more work than the person to my right or to my left. Longing for things that, quite honestly, have had me shaking in my boots for years. And this is the year that I shatter the glass box that I've nestled myself into. This year, my name is Audacious. Hey, how y'all doing? For me, boldness is about having the audacity to be unapologetically you to step into your power with confidence, courage, and a splash of daring. It's not about being loud for the sake of it. It's about standing tall, firm in your authenticity, in your truths, in your very essence. Last year, I experienced love, loss, adventure, high highs, and low lows. I discovered the power of pause, the strength in acceptance, and the beauty that lies in the unpredictable rhythm of life. But I also noticed that I've gotten comfortable teetering the line of boldness. As soon as I feel a little hesitant, I freeze. It's become commonplace for me to be on the brink of boldness and I don't like that no more. So how do we do this thing? How do we become bold? We cultivate it. We reflect on all the things we want in this life and we chase after it fervently because it's yours. In growth, there's discomfort and that's where the magic happens. This season is an invitation to venture beyond your comfort zone confidently. Confront the hesitations that hold you back to challenge and rewrite the narratives that have whispered doubt into your ears to embrace the unknown with open arms and more importantly, an open heart. It's time to cultivate boldness. Boldness in your faith, relationships, career, adventures, and every heartbeat in between. Boldness doesn't mean reinventing the wheel. It's about giving ourselves permission to be more of who we already are. It's about embracing the intricacies, the quirks, the vulnerabilities, and flaunting them proudly, unapologetically. Our authenticity is the paintbrush and life is our canvas. I came across this affirmation that really resonated with me and will be the tune that I'm singing all year long. I embrace boldness in every step I take. I trust the journey unafraid of the unknown. My authenticity is my superpower and I move forward with courage, grace, and a heart wide open because God got my back. So this third season is all about having the audacity to move boldly in whatever way that looks for you. People like to say, how could you? And to that I say, why shouldn't I? This is Affirmations for Black Girls Season 3, Cultivating Boldness.